Let's do some arm circles first, but and that was a good workout. I am way sore. We could have a couple folks join us, but oh, all right. Let's start off with just some arm circles. Then we're going to get on the rollers. I just grabbed two of them because I happen to have two of them. So let's get those shoulders moving. And I think we will stretch and roll. Roll and stretch. Yeah, in that order. All right, let's go alternating like backstroke. All right, and then we're just going to do a little bit of alternating reach. And then we are going to get right on the roller and start rolling, and then we'll stretch some stuff out. All right. That's enough of that. Okay. Anyway, I will really use the long one, but I like to use my shorter one for actually rolling because it's one of those with like PVC on the inside and then a hard foam. And this one's a little bit worse. So we'll only use that for a few things. But let's start with those shoulders. Okay. So let's go ahead and lay down. And I want you to get your roller. Ooh, right underneath your shoulder blades. And we're going to start with supporting your head completely. Right, let your head hang down. And then from there, let's do those little curl ups. And then drape yourself back over the roller. Okay. Not a crunch. Just drape yourself. And then we're going to roll the shoulder blades. Resist the urge to crank your neck. I know it's hard. Let's do three more like that. All right, hopefully you're melting over it a little bit more. Now let's go ahead and lift your butt. Keep your head supported. And we'll do a little bit of just bending and straightening. Probably won't go real far. So let's roll over those shoulder blades. You find a knot, go a little bit faster over it. There's lots of knots in there. <laughs> Adjust if you need to. All right, then just staying right here. We're just going to go a little bit side to side. Your butt can go back on the ground, sorry. All right. Ooh, that starts feeling a little bit better. All right, now let's come on up and we're going to flip over. And with the roller, let's get a couple different, couple different roll outs with our arms now that the shoulders are nice and rolled. So I'm going to start with both hands on it, knees a little bit wider, and let's roll everything forward. Just pause at the bottom. Come back up. Let's do five like that, just progressive roll outs. All right, one more. Let's hang out at the bottom just for a couple extra seconds. All right, come on back up. And then we're going to do one arm at a time, going diagonal across your body. So I like to put the opposite hand behind me. And let's get five on each side. Nice diagonal roll. This should give you a different pull behind the shoulder blade. And pause at the bottom just for a second on the last one. And 
hand by the switch arm, put the other one behind you. Okay, one more. Oh, yeah. All right, then we're going to take it on your side. And since I have two rollers, I can put my head on one, but since you probably don't have two, <laughs> you can put your arm underneath your head. Top knee goes on your roller, pushing down and forward. And let's take that top arm. Okay, actively pushing down and forward and opening and close. So now I'm hitting my head on that one. I'm going to go for five more of these, like seven or eight total. All right, last one here. And then let's take your arms, hang out there for a second. Okay, then circle that arm backwards. And reach it straight over your head. Bring that elbow right down to your side, squeeze it, reach it again. All right, let's flip over, get the other side. Oh my gosh, one side is always so much tighter than the other. Make sure you keep pushing down and forward on that roller. Let's get three more. Hang out there just for a second. All right, let's circle it backwards. All right, and reach it over your head. Pull your elbow back down to your side and reach it again. Right. That's moving a little bit better, but we are not done yet, of course. I'm gonna go on the longer one, but before we do that, let's get a couple of these just to kind of finish that off. So on all fours, put one hand behind your ear, and rotate down, rotate up. And switch sides. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and lay down on this one, get a little more shoulder mobility. So, foot on one end, head on the other end. Oh, that feels so good just right there. That's it, we're done. I'm just kidding, no, we're not. <laughs> Let your arms just hang off to the side for a second. If you want, you can do a little side to side. So 
don't roll off of it. Oh, doesn't that feel amazing? All right, let's reach everything up over your head. And then down, we're gonna start with the snow angels. Okay, every time, try to wrap your shoulder blades around the roller. All right, then, <clears throat> excuse me, interlace your fingers. Let's reach up this way, pulling on your shoulders, shoulder blades. And then bring your hands right up over your chest and go right back over your head. Two more like that. And give it a really good pull. All right. Hands facing each other. One goes up, the other one goes down. Wrap the shoulder blades around the roller as much as you can. Okay, and then let's bend your elbows to 90 degrees and just let yourself hang there for a second. And then we're going to do overhead reaches. Let gravity pull your arms towards the floor. This is going to look just like an overhead press. You are standing up. I do three more. All right. And just hang there just for a second. And then we're going to hinge your arms forward and backward. And then we're going to roll off of here. Okay, make a graceful exit off your roller. And we're not totally done with our arms yet, but let's get to the legs and the hips. So I'm gonna go back to this one just because. So to start off with, I'm gonna get the quads first. So whether you've got the short roller or the long roller, you can see I've got one leg totally off and the other leg is on. So starting with the quads, we're going to hit all, all the muscles. So starting with the middle. And as usual, if you find a spot that's a little unhappy, just do a little bit more wrist over that spot. But don't mash it. Okay, then we're going to go to the outer portion of the quad. So slightly rotate your body. Not on, not on the full side of the leg yet, just the outermost quad is that muscle. But try to go all the way up to the front of your hip. I might have to scooch forward because I'm going to hit the man chair. All right, let's go back to the middle. 
want you to get right on the front of your hip bone. We're just gonna go a little bit over just the one hip bone. And then let's get the inside portion of that. So tilt that leg kind of out, rotate it out. And let's get the inside portion of the thigh. I always find nuggets near the knee. If you find a nugget, <laughs> Just hang out there a little bit. All right, and then rotate your leg all the way up. Now this is more inner thigh, and you may find there's some more sensitive spots in there. I'm always a little surprised. But if not, that's all right. And then, I don't mean to make my back face you, but Let's go right directly on this side. Okay, if you can, stack your legs on top of each other. If that is too much, it's too sensitive, take the top leg and put it on the floor in front of you. All the way up to the top of the hip, down to the side of the knee. Usually the middle is the ugliest portion of that. So spend a little time there if you need to. All right. Well, that's sufficiently ugly. Okay, <laughs> let's go to the other leg. So again, starting with the middle, middle of the quad muscle. It's easier to put your leg this way. Whatever you prefer, it doesn't really matter. All right, let's get all the way up to the hip bone and do a couple of wrist strokes right over that front attachment. And then take it to the side of the quad. Outer most quadricep muscle. Okay. Before we go to the dreaded outside of the leg, Let's tilt your foot outwards, rotate it out. Get the innermost quad muscle. Try to go all the way up to your pelvis. Right, and then rotate it all the way out. Get the inner thigh. Tell you what, I'm always surprised by what I find in there. <laughs> All right. Oh, and then we are going to get the dreaded outside. So get the side of the leg. I don't think I can stack them on this side. Totally normal if one is way tighter than the other. Starting at the top of your hip. All the way down to the side of your knee. Let's see. No, that's no good. <laughs> Too much. All right. Then we're going to try to get a little bit on the back side of the leg. Then we will do a little bit more stretching now that we've rolled everything. 
I'm actually going to start on the cap on this side. So best way to do that is to go put one leg on top of the other, and you're going to lift yourself up and just roll up and down. So you can find any tight spots in there. You don't have to lift your butt off the floor, but you'll still get plenty of traction. All right, then let's move it up slightly. We're going to try to get a little bit into the hamstrings. I like to focus mostly just on the attachments, just above the back of the knee. We can move it up just a little bit more. I don't expect too much activity in the middle of it, but that's okay. And then we're going to go all the way up on the side of your butt. The okay, best way to do this, there's a couple ways. We're going to go into that figure four. So cross that leg over. That's going to open up the hip. So we can get into the hip rotators. You want to be rolling right over what feels like a bony spot in the back of your backside. All right, put that leg down, do a couple strokes with it down. And then take that to the other side, shift over. Before we cross the leg, we get a couple of, couple of passes this way. And then let's go ahead and cross it over. All right, and then let's get into the hamstring there. Go ahead and cross that leg over. And go right towards those attachments, just above the back of the knee. And all the way down to the calf. The thighs and nuggets in there. Okay. Oh, I could do that for a really long time, FYI. All right, let's go ahead and flip over. I still want to do one leg out to the side. Okay, we're going to get a little more than that kind of thigh. But then with your roller, I'm going to put one forearm on it. And then take this arm and do just a little bit of rotation here. One more. All right, switch arms and put this one underneath. All right, come on up, let's switch sides. Take this one out. And then grab this arm, bring it under. And switch arms and take this one underneath and then plant it there for a second. Okay, then 
I'm going to go back to the long line. I'm pretty sure you have longer rollers. And all I'm going to do here is just a little bit better hip flexor stretch. So I think we did this one maybe last time. I don't know. Um, well, all I'm going to do is put one hand on top of it and then grab this foot with the opposite hand. I'm going to push down on the roller so I get a little bit more traction with that hip flexor stretch. And that's why I try to get your foot as close to your butt as you can without arching and squeeze that back butt cheek. We should be getting a little more mobility in there now. Okay, relax it a little bit and then go right back into them. All right, set it down. Let's take that to the other side. Push down on your roller. Holy moly. Squeeze that back, butt cheek. Relax it a little. And right back in. Oh, that feels better. Okay. Super quick. Put the other leg forward and let's just get a couple. We're just gonna do three. Reach down, reach up, get into the hamstrings a little bit more. Okay, that's super quick, I know. Other side, we could just do this for hours, right? All right, last thing. One hand back, the other one up and over. Give me a couple of switchbacks. Switch back and forth. And pat yourself on the back. Grab that elbow and take it to the side. And other side. All right, I think that will do it. I wish it wouldn't, because I could 